Hello, hello. Hello. Hi, Gabrielle. Hey, where's everyone? Hey, only, only, only me. What? <laughs> They're gonna All the people is watching natural the streaming, is not The national broadcast. National broadcast. Yeah. Uh, then I don't. I I'm really interested in learn, learn English. Right. I salute you for that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let me let Santiago, me send you a message. Uh, too. Where is everybody? In national Bullcat. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, uh, Mr. B. Nicio. How are you? <clears throat> Can't hear you. Yeah, you know what, Gabriel, the national broadcast, you can see it later on YouTube. Yes, I can okay. see later or, or see it in Facebook. Exactly. I will see later. It Facebook. Yes, we have Miguel Campos. Miguel Campos, welcome. Siempre nos vamos a enterar, así que, first the first. <laughs> no, that's, that's a Spanish saying. Say, priorities first, priorities first. Ah, okay. Say it. Priority is first. Yes, priorities or priorities first. Priorities first. Alvaro, I don't hear you. Hello. Hi, evening. Alvaro. How are you? I'm fine. Otto. What about you? I'm all right. I'm okay. Fabiola, welcome. Okay, now we're six total, counting me. How are you doing, Fabiola? I don't hear you. Hello. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? Fine, fine. Yeah. Fine, thanks. Fabiola, Here. where do you live? In Santa Tecla, in San Salvador. Santa in Tecla? El Salvador? Yeah. Santa Tecla. Mm, what part of Santa Tecla? Near to Plaza Merliot. Ah, okay. All right. I know. Yeah, near sometimes I ask you that Gran question, Bia. but I haven't. Near, you, near Gran Vía. Gran Vía. Ah, right, I or Muri Plaza. Muri Plaza. Please. Gabriel, you're not in the city, right? I don't hear you. <laughs> yes, I am in San Miguel City. Uh -huh, San Miguel, right? San yeah, I know Miguel. it. I know it. Okay. Mm. You told me that. Do you, do you hear me, teacher? Yes. Hello. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Hi. Welcome. Thank you, sir. I don't think we're going to be those many tonight, but the ones who are here are going to learn and practice, as always. Right? So, uh, last night I sent you an image. Mm -mm. Where's the image? Look at this. I know it's raining. <laughs> These guys. Okay, open this image. Go back, back to the chat. Hold on, I'm going to stop sharing. Look, because this is what we're going to work on. Mm -mm. Can you see? Yes? Yes. All right, yeah. open that, please. I'm going to send it again just in case. And there it is. So this is what we're going to do. Let me open it so you can see it with me. And see what we're going to do. Give me one second. Let me open WhatsApp. Okay. My laptop. Give me one second. Hey, who's staying at home? Who's working from home? Me. About um, you. Um, who else? 
I'm working from home, obviously. <laughs> Who else? Alvaro, you have to go out. I don't hear you. Otto, are you going Hello? out? I'm here. No, 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 but I'm saying, do you stay at home? Are you yes, I'm a, I am at home. Are you working Today from Today my, my, is my free day. Me free day. Your day off? Today. Yes, day off. Today is your day off. Okay, let me see here. I'm going to open that image. Okay. There it is. Look at my screen. There. Yes. All right. The first one, this time we're going to use a different expression, which is what we were practicing. Okay, look. The expression we're going to use is, would you mind telling me? This is very polite. I think that this is the most polite expression we have, and it's very nice. So, we said, we said, uh, we're going to use the expression. What was the structure? Do you remember? What was the structure, guys, for indirect questions or embedded questions? We said we would do the expression plus if or wh plus a, a statement, right? It could be negative or affirmative. So the first question says, number one is here, who is your best friend? And we have to use the expression, would you mind telling me, which is here. Look, this is the expression. Would you mind telling me? All right. Let's make it a very polite question. It says, who is your best friend? Okay, how do I make that uh, an indirect question? Fabio? Can you tell can you tell me? Let's use this expression. Would you mind? Ah, telling sorry. Me? Sorry. It's okay. Will you will you, Will you mind telling me? Yes, would you mind telling me? That is the expression. Who? Yes, who? Your... Yes. Your, your best, best friend, friend, friend is. Uh, your best friend Perfect. is. That is the one. Okay, so imagine I'm working with Fabiola and Gabriel, and I say, would you mind telling me who your best friend is? And then you have to answer the question. Say, oh, my best friend, her name is la la la. I met her in school 10 years ago. And you speak a little bit, all right? Then you move on to the next question. You don't need to go in order. You can ask any question, all right? From number one to 26, you don't need to follow any order. Is that clear? So first, what you yes. have to do, first what you have to do is turn the question into an indirect question a direct question and then discuss the question not only ask the question but discuss have fun say real answers okay let's work in, in groups ready okay here we go ready. groups of groups of four right now then i might make it smaller accept the invitation please Oh, yeah. Hello to everybody. Hello, Leo. Hello, Alvaro. Hello, Hi, Fabio. Can you share the 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 picture? Yeah. So let me make you happy. Um. Oh. How old are you? How old are you? Would you mind telling me how old are you? It's the same. Okay. 
Number three. Number three. Do you have any pets? Would you mind me if you have any pets? Gabriel, sorry. The expression is, would you mind telling me? Would you mind telling me? If you have any pets. If, uh, if you have any pets, okay, do is... No, you don't use it anymore. No, because it's not a question anymore. Uh -huh. You can write them if you want. You can write them, but also discuss. So, for example, uh, Otto, would you mind telling me if you have any pets? I have uh, three dogs. Three dogs. What are their names? What are their names? Dolly. Dolly is uh, the name of my pet. Dolly. <laughs> That's oh. a fun name. Yes. Muñeca en español. <laughs> ah, Dolly, you're saying. A doll. <laughs> Fernando, would you mind telling me if you have any pets? Would you mind telling me if you have any pets? Oh, he Fernando, cannot hear you, right? Are you there here? Yes, do you hear me? Yes, you sound very far away, though. Yes, you sound super far away. Here's what we're going to do, Fernando. Okay, uh, right. The questions in the indirect form, but also listen to your classmates. But in your case, right now, you're going to be writing and listening because we can't hear you, but you can still participate in that way. So Otto and Gabriel, all right? Maybe I will send somebody else to practice with you. Okay. We can convert in a indirect question. Can you tell me how do you spend your free time? No, how without do because it's Wait, not a would you mind telling me? Will, will, will you will you mind telling me? Mm -hmm. how? Uh, how do you spend how? your free time? No, how, how do, do you, you know? spend uh, your free time? How do you spend how you, yes. How do you spend how, how do you spend, how you? spend your free time? Spend your free time. Yes, no do. How you spend okay. your free time. Great, awesome. Master. In yeah. ma project manager. Yeah, yeah. Good. Next. Yes, in line. Would you how, mind? how are you? Uh, would you mind? Would you uh, telling me? Uh, yeah. Would you mind? Would you mind? Tell me. How tall are you? Uh, would you mind telling me? How, how tall, tall are, are you? you is a question. How would you mind telling me? How is okay. Would you mind telling me how tall is all right? Entonces es how tall. How tall are you? No. Only. You are. You have you to are. change it. You are. Uh -huh. Se cambia, verdad? Uh -huh. Because it's subject predicate. You are. Sujeto predicado. That's, a, that's the order. Uh -huh. Would you mind telling me how tall you are? Okay, I'm um, about me. one. 71. Miguel Campos, can you hear us? Miguel. No, they can't. All right, so Otto and, and, and Gabriel. Yeah. <laughs> how tall are you? No, how tall you are. How tall you are? You yes, are it's subject predicate. Uh, and the and the number twenty twenty six. Mm -hmm. Would you mind telling me what make you happy? No, makes with that makes, makes you happy. Makes uh, you happy. It's yes. it's the same. Uh -huh. No, it's different because right in the number five, you can say uh. Tell you, uh, will you tell, tell my, will you mind telling me how tall you are? Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. That one changes. The other one is Different what makes before. you happy. And you have to say, for example, learning and music makes me happy. Make me happy if it's plural. Watch a movie. Okay. Uh -huh. Watching movies makes me happy. Mm -hmm. Or, okay. uh, for example, in the another one, number uh, four, Leo says, um, will you mind telling me how do you spend your free time? And we asked to him. How you? Oh, I, I like to spend my free time sleeping, says Fabiola. <laughs> Fabiola says. <laughs> Sleep. <laughs> okay. And I said I, I like to spend my free time drafting some places or, or I like to spend my free time cooking. Okay. Uh, uh, Mr. Vinicio, the other group only has two participants because they don't have connection in here. I have four, so I'm going to split three yeah, and three, all right? So, Vinicio, okay. can you move to, I'm going to change you to the other group, all right? Please accept the invitation. Okay. Santiago. Hello. How are, are you okay? Let's go. Next, next one is the. Vamos a ver. Hey. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> hey. Tres módulos diciéndole que diga. Let's see. But vamos a ver. <laughs> Let's see. Yes. Let's see. That's the first one. Okay. Okay. What country you? What country have you visited? visited? What country? Would you mind telling me what country you? Because you need the first subject. What country you have visited? What What does the number? Um, eight. What eight. country eight. you have visited? Uh, when I have to go uh, to work. Okay. Hello. For me, I often, um, every single day. Mm -hmm. Okay. Every, every day you go out. Yeah, be to, before the coronavirus. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, let me see. Do you... Would you mind telling me you believe in ghosts? If... It's, in, it's, it's so complicated. If, if you believe... Yeah. Would you mind telling me if you believe in, in ghosts? Exactly. Hello. N no, I don't believe. Mm -hmm. You not believe in ghosts. Teacher? No. Yeah, that's okay. I know I don't. Alvaro, do okay. you believe in ghosts? Can you tell me if you believe in God? <laughs> you do? Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever seen one? I mean, uh, I think in the, I believe in the energy. Mm -hmm. So we, we have a positive and negative energy uh, around of Oh. Okay, Leo? Yeah. Uh, I not believe in ghosts. I don't believe in ghosts. I don't. Okay, I don't believe in ghosts either. <laughs> Alvaro, <laughs> you're alone here, sorry. <laughs> we don't. <laughs> All right, next question. Um, Where's your mind? I mean, what? Um, why? Why? Why not in this case? Okay. Um, um, 
ask to the teacher if, if you have a confused or something. So okay. I think well, that it's in that way, but I'm not sure. I mean, I'm responding to you. Uh, actually, my, my language is Spanish. I don't speak any more language. Yeah. I, I know a little bit of French, um, only French. What and about English? A little bit, a uh, little bit English. <laughs> and I'm learning, learning now. But that counts. What? That counts. That counts. Cincuenta, cincuenta. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, teacher, sorry, I have a question. I have a question, teacher. So I made a, I made a, 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 a question like this um, to Gabriel. I, I, I tell him, uh, Gabriel, will you mind telling me how many languages do you speak? That's how many? Correct. How many? languages do you speak that's correct no without do not do how, how many, many languages, languages you speak you speak but, yes. uh, but he said that i have to say do you do you do, do, do I speak no. you <laughs> no 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 okay would you mind telling Listen me how many me. languages you you speak, speak. No, you mm -hmm. speak not do you don't use the auxiliary anymore yeah i, I was I, do. teacher is if i say how many languages I speak you? No. It's correct? No. 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 no, no, no. Okay, Gabriel, you have two options. All right, you have the option. How many languages do you speak? Or would you mind telling me how many languages mm -hmm. you Language? speak? You speak. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because you need you, subject you, you and take out two heads of predicado. Remember mm -hmm. that it's like that, okay? No auxiliaries. Mm -hmm. I visited Guatemala. And I love this city. Um, and Leo, I so sad. I don't. I don't visit any <laughs> countries. So I have Can you help me, please? Can you help me, please? <laughs> Can you help me? <laughs> Why? <laughs> huh? I have not visited. Actually, actually, uh, I. Oh, my family and me, we we have planned to to go out um, in this year, but the coincidence uh, for the coronavirus <laughs> is uh, no sé cómo se dice impedido, impedido. Uh, no sé. Stopped us from, or prevented okay. us from. So. Maybe to the uh, correct. Okay. Will okay. you telling me telling my would you mind telling me if if you are a morning or night person. Mr. Vinicio. Yes. Are you watching TV? Because it's very loud. Um, yes, my family and that mother, but then they don't because here is ranging in probably because the president is giving a conference ah, okay okay let's do something uh, whenever you don't speak mute the microphone okay only because Otto, you're good all right no noise okay. gabriel there's no background noise it's okay but in your case mr benicio ha, mute it and when you say something unmute it you have to be switching all right, let's continue. Yeah, but 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 uh, sometimes it's not my home; it's, it's the neighbor. But the, yeah, here the okay. houses are very <laughs> sorry. Okay? I understand, but only when you speak. Let's let's unmute it. 
All right. Okay, um, continue. Next one? Mm -hmm. Otto, go ahead. Okay. Um, would you mind telling me uh, why you want to learn English? Is correct? Yes, it's perfect. Okay. First one! <laughs> <laughs> so, Otto, would you mind telling me why you want to learn English? You have to celebrate like this. Yay! <laughs> Yes, I have some problem because I uh, I don't remember anything about English. I studied, but huh. I forgot it. I studied maybe, maybe uh, 25, 25 years old. 25 years ago? 10, 25 years ago, yes, ago. <laughs> yes, I, I forgot it all. <laughs> I have forgotten. Okay, yes. are, are you, you remembering you. everything now with the classes? About what? Are you remembering everything now with the classes? I remember something, but not very well. Okay, well, I hope this and, 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 and Yes, I, I have some problem because I, I have uh, Parkinson in this. I have many problems with, I, I stay very nervous. Uh, I have problem. Really? Yes, do you, do you, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, uh, I hear you. When, when I stay in, in some cases, uh, when I, uh, um, what is it, paranoia? I don't, I don't paranoia? When I, when I have uh, very nervous. Mm -hmm. When, when I you're stay anxious. in. Uh, yeah, yeah, anxious. Yes, yes, yes. And there's a high problem for this reason. But, but no, no problem. Hmm. It's a little problem. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's big. Yeah. I can't mm -hmm. tell. What about you, Gabriel? Why are you learning English? I think that English is a language that I I will use in my future work. Mm -hmm. I uh, I want I wish work in a multinational corporation. Okay, that's a great goal. You're very very relaxed. <laughs> what? Yes, Gabriel, you, you, you stay very relaxed in the class. Yes, he's Good. always yes. like that in his hammock. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's good. It's it takes it my, easy. It's yeah. my, my target. <laughs> Great, that's awesome. Yeah. Mr. Vinicio? Hello, Mr. Vinicio. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, I hear um. Chihuahua. It's a Pachines. But, but the people says uh, it's a Chihuahua con pelos. Oh, <laughs> here yes. it is. Uh, <laughs> I have heard about that. Breed. The breed. 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 The breed is Papi John. Oh, Papi John. Papi John. Yeah. I'll I'll look for it. I'm pretty interested about that. Also known as in in her, in. Yeah. We were. No. <laughs> it's like a Chihuahua with long hair. Then. Yeah. <laughs> in her face. Um. Simulate a butterfly, and papillon, meaning oh. in French, my post. Papillon, uh -huh. oh. papillon, yeah, yeah, it's butterfly. Maybe heard... for the face. Because of the face. Go ahead, Adam. Uh, bec yeah. I hear uh, a movie with the name. Papillon. Ah, Papi Papi John. Yeah. How do you spell Papi John, by the way? P A P I L L O N. Yeah. Who you live? Who? Hi, Flor. You live with? Who you live with? Exactly, that's the one. Okay. Who you Let's live include with? Flor. We're gonna practice for three minutes and we finish, right? So ask a question, okay. Flor, please. Ask well, I am live. I am live with my family, with my wife, my son. 
and my dog. Okay, Flor. No. Would you mind telling us who you live with? Repeat, please. Would you mind telling us who you live with? I live with my husband and my daughter. My daughter? I live with... Sorry? My husband and daughter. Yes. I live in the town. I... Only, I live. What are you, Flor? Okay. Excuse me? Okay, good. How old are you? I am... Um... <laughs> you don't mind me asking. <laughs> I am... Um, You're so... 33. Yes. You look younger than that. I thought you were single and without children. You look younger. <laughs> you good. are single? I'm single, yes. I'm 28, but I look older than that. Good. I think I look how, older than How old are you? 28. 28 years? Mm -hmm. It is okay. Really? Yes, I look older, I know. <laughs> nah. <laughs> it's the opposite. We're gonna go John. back. Yes, you're young. Yes, I'm 28. Very young. Yeah, Very but look, young. Flora, Flora looks younger than I. That's what I'm saying. And yes. she's older. Yes. Than I. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go back. <laughs> Welcome back. That was a fun practice. I had fun. I don't know you, but I did. Pretty interesting. Yeah, some people are not even back yet. Hold on. Where are they? They're still talking. <laughs> yeah, they're still talking and they're not coming back. They're six. Let's wait for them. <laughs> they're pretty engaged in the conversation. Did you enjoy it? Yes. Did you enjoy the conversation? I can hear you, by the way. Very interesting. Okay. Here we are. Everybody's back. That was a fun conversation. I enjoyed it. I don't know you. It did? No. I hope you enjoyed it. All right. Now let's move on. We're going to do a listening exercise. First, we're going to read the questions and then listen to it, okay? Number one. It's upstar. Right? It's upstar across from the Dory Free Shop. Hold on. First we're going to read it and then, hold on. We're going to read it and then answer the question, okay? So read the okay. first question, please, Herbert. Sure. Um, number one. Based on the lesson activity from the video, answer the following question. Could you tell me where the nearest AT, ATM is? Yeah. Uh, let's see. First one is, it's upstairs across from the duty-free shop. It's right behind you. Uh, there isn't an 
ATM in the area. Um, you imagine it's right behind you. It's about to bite you. <laughs> yeah, I think should be the Hold second on. one. It's right behind you because it's like a direct no, no, no. answer. But we have to do the listening. So we need to listen to the audio in order to answer. So we're only going to oh. read the questions. Just the questions, okay. not the options. Okay, next one. Okay. Okay, based based on the based listening on. and based on the listening activity from the video, answer the following question: How often do the buses run? Uh huh. Number three, Leo. Based on based the on. listening activity, based on. Based on. Listening the listening activity from the video answer the following question. What other information does Eric ask for? Okay, for Mr. Vinicio. Ah, no lo confirmé, pero es muy probable. Mr. Vinicio. Number four. Yes. Let me see. How will you transform the following sentence into an in, indirect question? Where okay. is the where's the nearest internet cafe? Nearest internet cafe. All right. Very good. Number five, Gabriel. Okay. Repress the following question. As an indirect question, how late do the bus run? Mm -hmm. Very good. We're going to answer these. So everybody, please go to section 2.A so that you can answer with me. All right. Let's go to section 2.8. I'm going to play the audio and the answers are here. So I'm going to play this for you, but you go to the other section. All right. Let's see. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to ask and answer indirect questions about a city or a new place that you might visit. For example, you'll be able to make the following questions. Could you tell me where the bank is? Do you know where the different questions that are asked? There's one upstairs. Listen. Excuse me. Could you tell me where the nearest ATM is? There's one upstairs across from the duty-free shop. Great. And do you know where I can catch a bus to the city? Sure. Just follow the signs for transportation. Okay. And can you tell me how often they run? They run every 20 minutes or... Excuse me. It's me again. I'm sorry. I need some more information, if you don't mind. Do you know how much the bus costs? It's $20. You can buy a ticket on the bus. Twenty dollars? Wow. Well, a taxi costs about fifty dollars. Hmm. Okay. And do you know where a bookstore is? I'd like to get a guidebook. Go upstairs and turn right. You'll see one on your left. Thanks very much. Have a nice day. You too. Let me present some structure at this time. What we want to do in this class is we want that's it. Do you have the answers or you want to listen to it one more time? One more time. One more time, please. Sure. I think it's not complete. I don't, I'm not sure. Let's, let's see. They run every 20 minutes or... Excuse me. Could you tell me where the nearest ATM is? There's one upstairs across from the duty-free shop. Great. And do you know where I can catch a bus to the city? Sure. Just follow the signs for transportation. Okay. And can you tell me how often they run? They run every 20 minutes or... Excuse me. It's me again. I'm sorry. I need some more information, if you don't mind. Do you know how much the bus costs? It's $20. You can buy a ticket on the bus. Twenty dollars? Wow. Well, a taxi costs about fifty dollars. Mm, okay. And do you know where a bookstore is? I'd like to get a guidebook. Go upstairs and turn right. You'll see one on your left. Thanks very much. Have a nice day.
You too. Let Great. me present some structure at this. Now I think you're ready to answer it. Yeah, I'm ready. I think there is just one missing. There's something missing, right? But we're going to figure it out anyway. Okay, number one, what is the answer? Anybody can participate. Go ahead. First one. It's the first one. Yeah, the first one. It's upstairs. The first one. Yeah, read the complete statement. It's upstairs. It's upstairs across the street, across from the duty free shop. It's upstairs. Okay, number two. Oops. They run every, they run every 20 minutes or so. They run, they every, run every 20 minutes or so. Or so. Or so means approximately. Okay, next one, three. The cost of bus of a bus to the city. The cost of a bus. Does any does everybody sure. agree? Okay, number four. Could you tell me where the nearest internet cafe internet is? Cafe Yes, you can have expression, W-A, subject, and finally the verb. Yes. Very good. Number five. five. Uh, uh, do you know how late the bus has run? The last one. The last one, yeah. Do you know how late the bus has run? Let's check. And everything is right. Yay. <laughs> Great job. Very good. Let's see. Now we're going to go to the next section. Um, how do you feel with indirect questions? Is everything clear about that? Or is it still... I, I, think, it's, clear. I think it's just a matter of practice. Yeah. Like, talking about the structure, the way you explained yesterday, it was like very simple and very clear. And I think we just have to get more vocabulary and get used to, to the rest of the uh, tenses, right? Uh -huh, exactly. Yeah, and in, in reality, I found an article that is questions. Guys, let's put the microphone. Okay, and I muted everyone. Oh, better. Okay, yes, I found an article that has all the indirect questions so that you can see the pattern and you can see how they're all structured. But I forgot to send it to you. I'm going to send you that. I'm also going to send you the list of verbs. Remember how I explained the verbs last time that I said they have things in common? Verbs ending in U-G-H-T, verbs ending in E-W. I'm going to send you that too. Okay, so I have to send you three things after class. I hope I don't forget. All right, let's move on then. Um, three, Flor, could you read the objective, please? Who? Hi, Dan. By the end of the, this class, you will learn how the expression you're opinion about houses and apartments. Additionally, you will be able to describe your house or your apartment in English. I use evaluating prices. Church as apartments are too small for, for pets. Houses are too expensive for Houses cost too much money. Great, thank you. By the way, this is be able, able to. Be able. Yes. Thank you, Flor. All right. We're going to watch this video, see how we're going to talk about houses. But we're not going to practice. Hi, that. everyone. By the end of this class. Let me see. Yep. Let's watch this. Please take notes because it's a very long video. As you can see, it's 10 minutes. <laughs> so I need you to take notes, pay attention. Don't fall asleep, please. Not sleeping in class. <laughs> so here we go. Class, you will be able to give your opinion about houses and apartments. Additionally, you will be able to evaluate your own house and apartment. For example, you'll be able to make the following statements. 
Apartments are too small for pets, but houses are too expensive. Houses cost too much money. Before I talk about the grammar involved in this particular class, what I would like to do now is I would like to play an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. We will listen to a few people talk about their opinions on houses and apartments. Your task is to listen carefully and answer a couple of questions that I'll have for you at the end of the audio program. Apartments are too small for pets. Apartments aren't big enough for families. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Apartments have just as many expenses as houses. Apartments don't have as many rooms as houses. Houses aren't as safe as apartments. Houses aren't as convenient as apartments. Houses cost too much money. Houses don't have enough closet space. Houses don't have as much privacy as apartments. Let me present some structure now. The first thing that I would like to do is to show you how to make evaluations using adjectives. And particularly, we're going to learn how to use the words enough and to. After that, we're going to make evaluations, but this time we're going to use nouns. And at the same time, we're also going to use the words enough and also to. First of all, what are adjectives? Well, adjectives are those words that describe nouns. So they describe people, places, or things. Since we're talking about evaluating houses and apartments, what we want to do is we want to think about some of those adjectives that we might use to evaluate a house or an apartment. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write a lot of those words here. And then what I would like for you to do is to uh, memorize this and uh, maybe study them if you're not familiar with them. So for example, we have the adjectives comfortable, convenient, dangerous, dark, bright, expensive, huge, small, inconvenient, modern, noisy, private, quiet, safe, small, spacious. And I'm pretty sure you can think of many more. Let me present some structure at this time on how to make sense of this evaluation that you see there towards the left. Apartments aren't big enough for families. So in order for us to make that particular evaluation, we can think of the following structure. So let me go ahead and write that now. Following this structure, we can see that we're going to have a subject. So in this case, we have apartments. This is followed by the verb to be. In this case, it happens to be in its negative form. Okay. And then, and then this is going to be followed by the adjective. So in this case, the adjective is big. Then this is going to be followed by enough. And then um, we're going to have some sort of complement here. So in this case, it happens to be families, right? So if we look at the pattern, we have a subject. I'm going to go ahead and follow the colors so that we can see what's happening there. That's in black. There we go. So we can see that the subject is apartments. Then this is followed by the verb to be. In this case, it happens to be the verb to be in its negative form. After that, we're going to have some sort of adjective. And then it's going to follow the word enough. And then we're going to include um, some sort of complement, if you will. So if we think about other evaluations that we can say about apartments, either apartments or homes, then we can say the following. I'm going to go ahead and copy this because the next evaluation is going to be quite similar. So we can say the following. Apartments aren't, and so I'm going to change the adjective here. So I'm going to say aren't spacious enough for families. Okay. And let's do one more. Uh, we can also say that apartments aren't. By the way, that's spacious. Okay. Spacious. And I'm going to change the adjective now. I'm going to say apartments aren't comfortable enough for families. The next thing that I would like to do is to make sense of that second evaluation that you see there at the bottom. Now, using the word 
2. And so what I want you to notice is the following, that we're just going to have different ways of evaluating things. And so there isn't just one way to do it. There are many different ways. So in this case, we're going to use this expression. And I want you to notice what's going to change. So I want you to think about what is the opposite of big? Well, the opposite of big, we can, we can think of that as being small, right? So in this case, I want you to notice what, what's going to change. So in this case, I'm going to say apartments are. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to include two small. So the only thing that changes is that I'm no longer using the bird to be in its negative form, but now I'm using it in its positive form. And then I'm including two plus the adjective small. And I'm saying for families. So what I want you to notice is that these two senses, these two evaluations are the same thing. The only thing is that I'm expressing them in different ways. The next thing that I would like to do now is to show you how to make evaluations. But now we're going to talk about making evaluations using nouns. And a couple of things will change. And so let me present the formula at this time. And I'm going to show you what kind of things will change. Well, first of all, um, similar to making evaluations with adjectives, we're going to have a subject. So in this case, we're going to say apartments. Okay, That's going to follow a verb. In this case, it's no longer the verb to be. So that's the first thing that changes. We're no longer using the verb to be. So in this case, we're using any other kind of verb. In this case, it happens to be that that's on a negative. So we, we're going to say don't have. That's uh, The verb is on its negative form. And then this follows enough. So opposite from adjectives, where we would include the adjective first, when we make evaluations using nouns, we no longer use the adjective first. We're going to include enough, and then we're going to include the noun. So let me give an example here. Don't have enough. And then um, whatever um, noun that we want to include. So in this case, don't have enough parking spaces. OK? Uh, so the noun is parking spaces. And then you can think of a complement, if you will. So you can include something else there. So for example, uh, what could that be? Don't have enough parking spaces for people, right? That could be the complement. But in this case, the noun is parking spaces. And quickly, I want to talk about nouns. So what are nouns? What are some of the nouns that we can think about when we are um, you know, thinking about making evaluations of apartments and houses. Well, uh, we can think of things like parking spaces. As you can see there, we can think of things like closet space. right? We can think of things like privacy. And of course, we can think of things like money, if you will. right? So this kind of things are nouns that we can think of. So we can say the following. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Apartments don't have enough closet space. Apartments don't have enough privacy. And the last example that I would like to make is how to use to. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, this I'm going to take that example there. Houses, this follows the verse, so that continues to be the same. We are no longer going to include the word enough. So in this case, we're going to use too much money. right? Houses cost too much money. So if we can think of this, I'm going to follow the pattern there. Houses cost. That follows the verb. And then in this case, I want you to notice what happened. So we include too much money. The last thing that I would like for you to do now is to evaluate your house or apartment. Depends on where you live, right? And I want you to evaluate your house or apartment using adjectives, such as the ones that are here, and of course, following the formula that I presented to you earlier today. And I also want you to evaluate your house or apartment using nouns. So uh, once again, using the formula that I'm presenting to you today, 
and then of course you're going to follow this formula. So I want you to make as many examples as you possibly can. The idea is to practice as much as possible. Right. So this, since you have the entire explanation already, but if you have any questions, we're going to discuss them tomorrow and also we're going to practice using these structures, okay? Okay. okay. So thank you very much for being in class. I hope to see every one of you tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow, you, see okay. you. Good night. Thank see you. you. Good night. Good night, Good night everybody. Good night, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye.